Georgia junior linebacker Natras Patrick has been arrested on two misdemeanor charges, including marijuana possession, his second such arrest, since joining the team. Patrick was booked into the athens Clark County Jail at 11.37 p.m. on Thursday night on charges of possession of less than one ounce of marijuana and parking in a prohibited area. He was released on bond less than an hour later. Patrick has started every game this year for Georgia, 5-0, which plays at Vanderbilt on Saturday at noon. Patrick is tied for third on the team with 17 tackles. No announcement has been made about Patrick's status for the game. If Patrick Dawson's play, Georgia's depth at inside linebacker may be sorely tested. Senior Reggie Carter, the top reserve at the position, did not practice at least through Wednesday because of an undisclosed injury. So if Patrick and Carter are both held out, it would mean additional playing time for junior Julian Taylor and or freshman Monty Rice and Nate McBride. Two years ago, Patrick and then-teammate Chauncey Rivers were arrested on a charge of possession of marijuana. Patrick served a one-game suspension, while Rivers eventually was dismissed from the team after two more arrests. Yuga Student Athlete Handbook calls for a four-game suspension for football players who incur a second marijuana violation. Last year, Patrick and fellow inside linebacker Rockwin Smith were detained by police, but ultimately not arrested or suspended, after police were called to their room when a resident assistant reported the smell of marijuana. Yuga said both players tested negative and were cleared, and in a statement, Patrick said that since his arrest in November 2015 he had dedicated myself to moving forward. This is the third arrest this year of a Georgia football player on a marijuana charge. Receiver Riley Ridley and tailback Elijah Holyfield were charged with possession in separate arrests earlier this year, and each served a one-game suspension.